I guess it's easy to use, go to my channel. If you suck and join hands, this video is for you. I think I just spoke to the whole artist population. Beginners want to know how to draw hands. Intermediate artists want to know how to draw effortlessly. Advanced artists don't want to draw hands. These are freak of nature. They are so bony, you know, but also so fleshy and so difficult. And those things are actually irrelevant because you don't want to draw every detail. You don't want to think about it. Then your brain wants to draw it perfectly because it's like literally the thing you see the most in your life. Imagine those are somewhere in your sight all the time. So your brain knows how it looks like. Your brain knows exactly how your hands, any hand should look like. But you don't know how to draw them. And that's the issue. That's why we have such a big problem with drawing hands because it has to be perfect, right? It doesn't. It doesn't have to be perfect. I will explain you how you can draw it without it being perfect. So don't worry, I am here to help you. I will help you, hopefully. But let's give it a try. So I figured a way to draw hands in this interesting sections that will make it way easier for you to imagine, translate the reality into paper. It makes it easy and smooth like butter. Well, okay, not like butter, not that smooth, but almost as smooth. So you can see right here the four first hands I drew just so you get an idea of what I am going to present to you today. They look pretty good and you can already notice what kind of sectioning, what kind of technique I'm going to try and teach you today. Now look at the fingers. You can't see this part. This part of the fingers, I don't acknowledge their existence. They don't exist for me. I don't need to acknowledge their existence. We already have so many bones here, we don't need 10 more. So I just don't draw them, I don't. I don't draw them. And you don't have to, either. Kind of you don't have to, you'll see, you'll see. So just for a little bit introduction for you. These are the sausage fingertips. We can call them the sips. Those are the sips. And those are the finger base which we can call a face. You know what? Maybe I will not use this name. We'll see. You need to focus on those two things. The base of the hand, not that important today. It's not that important. It's pretty easy, actually. You just need to look at the reference. Let's start. Okay, so take your reference and I'm going to flip it horizontally because I am I'm lazy. I just like it that way. I like to draw one certain direction but never mind use a reference if you don't use reference you just like to suffer and that's it there's no other explanation for it just use your freaking reference and make the basic shape for your hand nothing too difficult try to be pretty accurate and i don't really have any extra explanation for this step at all so let's just move to the fingers you just need to make an outline which will help you define what kind of movement the hand is making. So yeah, it's, it's really easy, just an outline, that's it, nothing too detailed, nothing too difficult. And make the fingertip for your thumb already. And this is the fun, the satisfying part. Draw the fingertips. and. Remember that they need to be pretty long and pretty sausage-like, so yeah, try to do that. And you can change the composition of them a little bit so it just looks better, because the reference doesn't always look perfect, so you can change it a little bit. But try to keep the movement, the dynamics a little bit the same. And then just connect your fingertips, the sausage tips, the sips with the hand. And when you connect them, think about the face, the finger base. I said I will not use this, this, this phrase, but, but I'm using it anyway. I, I don't know. We'll see. Just take a pretty thick sketching brush 
so you don't think too much about the details about the lines you know you know what I'm okay I am just using my sketchy line art brush from my sketchy brush set if you want to get it you can get it on my website which is in the description or you just can go to aliciaprints.com and the thumb can be a little bit tricky just make sure to look at your reference and just think about sausages because I draw fingers like sausages and I like it and it looks good so just keep sausages in mind when you draw it now I'm making everything a little bit lighter I'm erasing it slightly with the airbrush so I can make it a little bit more finished a little bit more clean so in this step there is not really a lot more interesting information I can share with you so let's just skip that now I see the fingers are slightly too long, but it does the job, you know, it, it works, it's, it's good, you know, and the, and the arm is a little bit weird, okay, let's fix that, okay, that's better, it looks good, you know, it's acceptable, so, and it didn't take such a long time, so let's just jump all right into the next one. Okay, so this one was such a pain in the ass, it was a challenge, I didn't really like this one. I do think it turned out pretty freaking fine, you'll see. But, okay, so let's make the base, right? You can make those little circles, you don't have to, but it can help you if, if you want. Let's do whatever, you know, there's no rules. Let's make the thumb sausage already and the shape of the fingers is a little bit tricky in this drawing and in this reference because they kind of don't really look like they were in one part so I kind of did them in two parts but it's okay it, it still works or maybe I did them in three parts you know what just listen to yourself what will be easier for you make any outline that will be translatable translatable is it a new word i don't know that will be understandable for your brain you know i think you should know i i think it's a good explanation i don't know i know and then of course make the sips the sausage tips and later make the faces the finger bases um, as you can see the finger I'm making right now it really literally looks like a nut and it looks awful it does look dynamic that's what I like about this technique like anything you draw even if it's wonky and ugly it will look dynamic and it's kind of nice you know but you'll see what I, I, I will fix it as you can see, I'm fi fixing it. One thing that you need to keep in mind for the finger base and the sausage tips, you need to look at the connections like they were kind of a little bit pulled direction of the hand. Like the upper part of where it's cut it's a little bit more direction of the hand, you know? Like, it's really round. Can you see on the cut, the slices are very round and very direction of the base, you know, like of the hand. I hope you understand that because I'm recording this little part like fourth time and I can't explain it properly. So I'll just... I'll just trust you out yeah and when it turns out so ugly as for me in this particular moment right here don't worry you can fix it just take the airbrush eraser erase some parts make it really light you know and they go then go over the lines again a little bit softer a little bit thinner maybe a little bit more clean and it will be all right and yeah don't mind the pinky 
I mean, I don't draw hands that often, but I guess it works. Yeah, you, need, you still need to experiment. Don't take my advice. <laughs> that seriously. <laughs> And although I am trying to make this part right now cleaner, I'm still making the cuts. Why do I do that? Well, it looks better, so that's one. And two, when you're going to color it in, when you're going to give it some shadows, those cuts will really help you do that. The one mistake that most people make is just taking it too seriously, making it too detailed, looking too much at those little tiny lines that don't matter that much. I think these sausages work better than the exact copy of a hand, often. I think so, yeah. Okay, the thumb is a little bit wonky, but I accept this final result. It's okay. I, I kind of like it. Next hand, let's do this. I, as you can see, am making a really weird base and that's why I didn't want to explain to you how to make the base of the hand, like besides the fingers, because I just don't know. You can see, I, I don't know. It looks really weird and really wrong, so I won't teach you that, but fingers, I can do that, so that's why I'm making this video. Anyway, let's just go a little bit further because there's not much happening right here. Okay, so you can see right here, I struggled and to be honest, I'm going to cut away a lot of it because although it's an easy way to draw, it's not, it's still hands, all right? It's still, hands are still like really, freaking difficult so don't don't hate me for that i tried to do something here didn't really work out i guess so let's just get a little bit further right here okay so instead of cutting it completely i'm just going to show you this really quick time lapse of how i tried to get it right maybe it can help you maybe the mistakes i made in this little part of drawing this freaking difficult hand Will help you so that's why i do it as you can see i i was losing my mind i just lost my mind almost almost i'm here i have a mind still but I, I almost did you can see that all right but anyway i think it's pretty good so let's just erase and make it a little bit cleaner a little bit softer nicer more beautiful and see okay the final result of this hand and we have one more to go okay i would show you how i drew this hand but there's no point because you don't really see the fingers and it's not that interesting and i already showed you like other hands so it might get a little bit boring so let's just let's just go to the final result All right, guys, so we are finished now, although I'm just filming this outro literally 10 seconds after I finished the intro. Um, I hope this video was handy and I want to invite you to my Twitch because I'm going to stream. I haven't stream in, streamed in a long time, but things like this, like hands, drawing hands, I'm going to do it today which is already too late for you because today and before i edit everything so i want to invite you to watch my twitch streams you never know when they come because i never know when i am going to want to stream so yeah you can just follow me on the twitch and hope to 
catch me sometime. I hope this video was handy, I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching so much and I hope to see you in the next video. And I, I want to remind you that if you want me to grow, to have motivation to make more videos like this one, you need to leave a comment below. And I need to tell you this because I know you maybe do, just didn't think of it, but if you leave a comment below in my video, you don't know how much it helps me. So if you feel like I helped you, you can help me back. I would really appreciate it. And you can give it a thumbs up too. That would be really nice. That would be amazing. If you want to see my face once again, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with the bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new amazing video. Yeah, I love you so much. Kisses. Bye-bye.